Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, we're talking about the knowledge of God. Listen, it's the most important thing you can get for yourself. That's why Jeremiah 9, 23, 23 and 24 says, if you want to boast, if you want to glory, glory in the fact that you understand and know God. Do you know him? Can you beat your chest and say you understand God? See, okay. now, if the Lord is the one leading you, he will lead you to know him. That's what he does. The Holy Spirit always leads us to know him. See, and you say, oh God, I need a new car. You know what God does? He leads you in the path that you will know him more. Now, when you know him, you realize that it's so easy to have a car. I'm telling you the truth. That's what you realize. Because as he's leading you on that journey, you just begin to realize that. Maybe, you know, you, oh God, I need a car. This year, I must get a new car. Oh God, I need a new car. Oh God, I need... When he answers you, he's not going to answer you by just stoning a car to you. He will answer you by bringing his truths that will make you increase in his knowledge. See, you know why? The truth is, he has given you that car all this while but you haven't seen it yet now for you to see the car he doesn't take you around showing you cars he builds you up you know it's just like there's a fence that is so high think about a, a young boy or a young child and then there's this fence that is high you know maybe just it depends maybe 1.5 meters fence you know and and, and this child always asking for things daddy i want this daddy i want this and then the dad keeps saying don't worry you'll see it when you grow up don't worry you'll see it when you grow up and now what do you mean and then dad said oh you already have it, it, it it's in a compound where we park cars and he said but i can't see it because the fence is high okay so the child begins to grow begins to grow he's eating well he's being nourished well and he begins to grow and grow and, and suddenly he begins to grow above that friends now he can he can see initially he's just seeing you know a little but the more he grows he begins to see and see then he now realize that oh that that looks like my name on that car he said yes it's yours really see it's been there all the while waiting for him to grow up to see it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, it's the same thing with God. Everything you need in life, God has given them to you. He will not give it to you. He has given it to you. So what do you need to do? Grow up in Him. Grow up in Him. As you grow up in Him, you are understanding more and more your identity. And as you understand your identity, you you will just begin to see what belongs to you. And then when you see it, you're like, Lord, can I have it? Oh, yeah, it's yours. Thank you, sir. And then you go possess it. Easy. Praise God. Yes, it's that easy. But the work is in you growing up. That's where the Holy Spirit comes in. That's where he teaches you. Jesus said he will teach you all things. Jesus said he will guide you into all truth. See, I was sharing you know, something and in, in one of the meetings we had recently. And I said, Jesus didn't come because Adam and Eve failed. You know, that's the mentality we've carried for years. Personally, that's the mentality I've carried for years. Don't know about you, maybe you knew better. But, but we've had that mentality that it was because of the failure of Adam and Eve that Jesus came. But you know, recently I was fellowshipping with the Lord and and the Lord spoke to me and said, no, you've been wrong in your thinking concerning this. And then he said, Jesus was already, God had already planned for Jesus to come into the earth even before Adam was formed. Like, how? You, you, you know, you see some scriptures and then, you wonder what's the meaning of this you just go okay maybe that's what it means you know so god knows how everything for example the bible says the lamb of god that was slain from the foundation of the world and then you say if the lamb of god was slain from the foundation of the world it means the lamb of god was slain even before adam and eve were formed so 
Does it mean God knew Adam and Eve were going to sin? Does it mean he, he knew it? He knew their limitation. He knew what they were going to do. And then he planned for the substitute. He planned for everything. And then he was just waiting for life to happen. No, sir. That's not how it works. But that's not how God works. See, one thing we don't realize. Oh, I, I don't have time to share that with you. Maybe I'll share that with you on Monday. But let me close with this. God is perfect. His ways are perfect. You can never fault it. Many times we don't understand because we look from this side. See? So, as we look from this side, we are limited in our sight. And we judge by the limitation of what we see because we can see better. Now, that's why many times our judgments cannot be the same with God. That's why Isaiah cried out and says, His ways are not our ways. As the heavens are high above the earth, so are God's thoughts high above our thoughts and His ways above our ways. See? Why? Because we judge based on what we see, which is limited. God judges based on what He sees, which is infinite. That's the truth. So, to guide yourself many times, you don't just rush and conclude in your judgment. You go before the Lord and say, Lord, what do you think concerning this issue? And when the Lord begins to speak to you, he unveils his truth to you. And it helps you. Praise God. I've got to stop here. But listen, this is going to be a wonderful weekend. You know why? Concentrate on knowing God. I go before him and say, Lord, I just want to know you better today. And he will reveal himself to you. It's not in one vision. He will begin to start unveiling his truths to you. And you know what? It shall be well with you. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.